Welcome to the Real Estate Espresso Podcast, your morning shot of what's new in the world of real estate investing. I'm your host, Victor Manash. On today's show, we're talking about how easy it is to purchase and configure a remote security camera system that can be monitored from anywhere in the world for the cost of not much more than an internet connection and a couple of hundred dollars per camera. Security is one of those expenses that will rarely make you money, can only cost you money, and on the rare occasions, save you from experiencing financial loss. The most expensive form of security involves having a live person on site, either on a continual or rotating basis. The problem with live patrols is that you can't be everywhere all the time. You never know when an incident will occur. Traditional security systems have been proprietary and costly, but technologies improve significantly, and it's now possible to design systems that deliver campus-wide coverage for very reasonable cost. The traditional criticism of security cameras is that they don't capture enough detail to clearly identify people involved in an incident, especially in low-light conditions. But the technology has advanced in several ways that have made security cameras a compelling choice for security. One of the other criticisms is that crooks will intentionally disable cameras if they're about to commit a crime. But here, too, there are advances in technology that can make these tactics easier to catch. Cameras are offering much higher resolution these days. It's critical when it comes to zeroing in on details in an image. About 20 years ago, you could not count on using camera images to catch a crook. A friend of mine had a bicycle stolen from the roof of his car back in 2002. It was all captured in broad daylight on security cameras, but you couldn't read the license plate of the truck that pulled through the parking lot. The resolution wasn't there. Today, the images are incredibly clear and very high resolution. More importantly, the software that controls the cameras is becoming much smarter. Some software systems will use motion detection to zoom into the area of an image that's changing from one frame to the next. The static portions of an image rarely contain the relevant information about a crime in progress. The software can trigger alarms based on a variety of events. The newest systems can detect the loss of signal at a camera and trigger an alarm based on that. If you design your system so that a given area is covered by more than one camera, then it becomes difficult for a crook to disable a camera without being detected. The latest software systems incorporate license plate recognition that's as good as the systems used by law enforcement. My partners and I were developing two buildings across the street from each other on 25th Street in Philadelphia. One weekend, the copper pipes in one project completely disappeared. They were stolen. The security cameras in the building across the street captured the entire multi-hour theft. The crook happened to know about these construction sites. He had worked for the cement company that had poured the foundations on one of the buildings. He even wore the sweatshirt that bore the cement company logo on it. When we presented the CEO of the cement company with the video evidence, he immediately wrote us a check to replace the stolen copper. When a crime is committed, unless you happen to be observing the cameras at the instant in time, You don't know what video footage to review. The longer time has passed from the time of the crime to notification, the harder and more time-consuming it is to review the camera footage to deduce what happened. Motion detection allows all those times where nothing's happening, which is in fact the vast majority of the time, to virtually disappear from your review process. The amount of time saved by eliminating the dead time footage is huge. Many real estate investors live at a distance from their properties. These systems can be remotely monitored over the internet. They even have apps for both iPhone and Android that make remote surveillance even easier. We sometimes encounter situations involving employees that require investigation. Might be an employee claiming overtime when in fact they were not even on site. Might be a harassment claim by an employee or perhaps a resident. These camera systems also record audio. If an assertion is made about an employee or a resident, the auto recording can often resolve the dispute. Finally, some residents make false claims about a property manager. And if there's a recording of everything that happens in the leasing office, the audio and the video evidence can be useful in arguing a claim in front of a landlord tenant board. The utility of high quality video surveillance can't be underestimated. One of the objections I often hear is the cost of wiring and providing power to these systems can be quite high. We use a system called Blue Iris that's compatible with hundreds of different camera brands. This system is capable of handling up to 64 cameras on a single computer. In a campus setting, we use cameras that provide the power to the camera over Ethernet wire. 
This keeps the cost of wiring down to a minimum. If you're having problems with security on any of your properties, you may want to consider digital surveillance. As you think about that, have an awesome rest of your day. Go make some great things happen. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.